Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my playthrough of The Elder Scrolls II, Daggerfall. When last we left off, we had just completed a quest for a servant of the Underking, and now we are pretty much at a loss. Now, I do have a few leads that I seem to recall having. Um, one is to uh, speak with maybe the Queen of Daggerfall. Another is to check out Dereni Tower on the island... Um, which uh, escapes my my uh, my memory right now. I'm sure it'll show up on the map. Bethany, or the Isle of B Balfiera. I think the Isle of B Balfiera is where I need to be. What do you know? Right off the bat, it is a, a light dungeon, which means I guess it's not, um, it may be big, I don't know. Anyway, let's head there first and check that place out. Take a week to get there. Not a problem. Oh, I should have hit the bank before I left. God damn it. Oh well. I presume there's a tower up here? Yes, there is. That's a very nice looking tower, too. Like an actual tower. Not just a little uh, door in the middle of the countryside. Let's head on in. Oh, I should have saved the game. Fuck! That's alright. And, um... Yeah, skeletons. Skeletal warrior... I'm hearing a shitload of them. Let's uh, mark mark the entrance before I head any uh, further in. All right. So basically, I've got to find the uh, Dowager Mother or whatever, who is supposedly gone mad. I guess I don't know. Wow, this is actually a straight-up proper tower. With undead and everything. Damn. Uh, uh, an awkward fight. Okay. I think I hear some sort of vampire in the background. Uh, let's dump some shit into this wagon before I head out. Or before I head in. Alright, that should free up some space. And I really do need to hit the store and sell that shit. I'll try to remember it between episodes. Oh, well, I don't have anywhere to go. I guess it's a one-way deal. There really is just up and down in the tower. Well, it looks like the floor is a hell of a lot closer. Wow, there's creatures on that middle thing. Damn, this place looks kind of intense. Anything around here on the ground floor? There's gotta be. Oh, there's a vampire. Oh, there's uh, several vampires kind of stacked on top of one another. Killed them both in the same place. It's not great. God damn it. I have to sort that out to loot them. Eh, fuck it. I'll just loot one. Ah, uh, what else we got down here? A, uh, door. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going down or up. Hopefully it won't be a, a serious problem. Oh, a torture chamber with nothing in it. Except a closing door. A self-closing door. Or wait, I think I went. I took a wrong turn somewhere. This is not the direction I remember. God damn it, did I already get lost? Did I literally just get lost on the first turn?
What is this? Some sort of waiting room? Well, it's an appropriately decorated hall. I'll give it that. I'm gonna have to check every side room, aren't I? There's plenty of wraiths and shit. Oh crap. I was getting my ass kicked by something I couldn't even see. Yeah, these wraiths are bullshit, man. I can hardly see them. Looks like some sort of vampire down there. Alright, backstab! Except I don't know if it actually backstabbed. See, you can have everything perfect for a backstab and then not actually backstab. Because, you know, failure on the skill check. I hope that this is not going to be a complex thing. Oh, fuck. A mummy. Well, somebody filled my spell points up. Nightblade. Okay. This entire dungeon is nothing but ear rape. Oh man, screaming wraiths and skeletons, bugged torches. Holy crap. On a silent spell just to stop hearing shit. I think that I liked it better when my ear my past earphones were broken. God damn. These aren't even that great. I'm just using them as a stand-in. I'm probably going to get all the way through this bottom area and then it's going to end up having to uh, be at the top somewhere. Ah, vampires in cages. I think I'll try some pickpocketing on her. I'm sure that's enough to uh, raise me. And in fact, since I've already got some skill ups, let's go ahead and rest for a bit. I need the stamina anyway. It wasn't enough to upgrade my pickpocket. Fuck. I guess I need successes, not just tries. Who's attacking me? Oh. Man, those wraiths hit pretty damn hard. God damn wraiths. Uh, double secret door. That's funny. Alright, I think I've been this way over before. Yep. You know, I'm coming to decide that mummies are just as annoying as wraiths and skeletons. Whoa, nothing's in here? Just coffins. Ominous looking coffins. I'm gonna have to find my way back out to the beginning and just try the top of the tower first. You know what's fucked up? I think I hit a teleporter. Because look at this. Those two rooms? They look damn near identical. That's what happened. That's why I seem to have got lost, is because I walked in there and it teleported me.
this one at the end of the hall I walked into and boom I was in a different place that's the only explanation I can come up with so there's no way back from here just uh, straight through the dungeon well I mean I did I did anchor myself so I can just recall out um, but yeah in fact I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna recall out check the top of the tower first then come back in here and while I'm out here I will go ahead and anchor myself again All right, let's head up first. Oh fuck, it's a ghost. Let me get my uh, regeneration up. I totally didn't realize that was a ghost or I would have taken it out. And there's, there's poor sods in the middle there. Come on, let me attack, goddammit. I may die if this lasts too long. Nope, it's wearing off. Good. Wow. That, that, I only lived because I managed to make one of those pseudo-paralysis saves. There's a door here, but uh, I don't know what's behind it. Let's continue going up to the top. Oh, fuck. No! I think that was a trap. Pretty damn sure that was a trap. Fortunately, I literally just saved before heading up that flight of stairs. So let's try that again. Up and up and yep. That was definitely a trap. Oh god damn, I almost got squashed on the way back. Uh this whole area is trapified. Well here's the top of the tower. Let's start at the top and work our way down. Gotta hack this door open. Oh man, I hope I can hack this door open. It's taken forever. And I'm gonna end up with a broken sword. And there's nothing inside. God damn it. I. Oh, here's a, a wraith. Stop screaming at me, goddammit. Oh, there was two wraiths. Boop. Boop. No. Huh. <laughs> Outsmarted that trap. Alright, what's this door? Well, there's a throne. Nothing else. There's the entry hall. Let's head up that second stairway and see what we can do. Okay, that is something I haven't heard before. Is that a harpy? Oh crap, is that this door? Yes, that's this door. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. God damn. That was a little bit more, uh... 
more damaging than I expected from a human. So I just hit that, uh, that, uh, that wheel or whatever. I have no idea what I just did. Oh, holy shit. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. God damn it. I didn't hit, I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the casting thing up yet. Or up fast enough. And I haven't saved in a bit, so, uh. It'll take me a little sec. It'll take me a sec to get back there. And I got paralyzed by this guy. God damn it! I hate that. You know, I think I took critical uh, weakness par paralysis or something. Oh no, it was stupid of me. Whatever it was. Come on, unparalyze me any day now. And now I've got a bugged sound chirping in my ear every so often. This is hell. Alright, it's wearing off. Remembering to save the game this time. Alright, let's go fight that thing that killed me last time. And this time, we won't die. Much better. God damn it, that's that's just nothing but money right there. I gotta figure out how to get that book, that holy book. Throw away one of my normal books. I'm probably carting around like a hundred pounds worth of gold. Come on, kill him. And some more holy books. Except this time I literally cannot carry them. I carry plenty of gold, though. Well, I know that these books are worth 2,500. Uh, let's drop 200 pieces of gold. Alright, so it's more than... Uh, it's more than 100 gold per pound. Let's drop uh, 800 pieces of gold. Make it an even thousand. Okay, so 1,000 gold is equal to or greater than 2 kilos. Oh, that's what they use in this game, not pounds. Um, so, um, so, so going forward from that, I know that if it's worth more than 500 per kilo, then it's actually better to loot that than gold. Another door to hack open. And another room with no one in it. Well, back down to the, uh... Back down to the rest of the stuff. Wait, is that somebody on there? Are those things I need to talk to? Or are those just decorations? They don't seem to be animated. They all seem to be undead. They don't seem to be animated. Alright. I keep hearing those fucking harpies. At least I think they're harpies. God, that's terrible. Alright, back into the tower. God damn it. So I just picked up 484 gold again with no problem. So I'm thinking it might be like closer to uh, uh, 100 gold per kilo. We'll have to find out. Maybe 200 gold per kilo. I don't know. 
Looks like I've got a teleporter. Alright, where did that send me? Not far off the beaten path. And another teleporter as soon as I kill this wraith. Boom. Ah! Put me in front of a wraith. And yet another teleporter. Eh, can't backstab a mummy. Well, I'm sure you can. I just can't. And there's the entrance. Yep, so I've made a complete circle here. Um, but this path continues onward. Oh, that wraith was casting at me. I forgot they did that. Teleporter I haven't been to. Boom. Oh, fuck, I'm underwater. Oh, no, I'm not underwater. I'm just uh, in a water-filled room. God, that would be a pisser, teleporting me underwater. I really need to buy that water-breathing spell that I keep meaning to buy and forget about. Like how wraiths can open doors. Well, I guess if they can hit you with swords, then... Uh, oh, this is a weird teleporter. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Let's look in here first. Come on, let me teleport, damn it. Damn you, let me teleport. Oh, I had to click on it this time. God damn it, people. At least have some consistency. Oh. There's a wraith I didn't see. Because they're next to fucking invisible. Oh, there's some laughter I didn't like. What the hell is that? I have not heard that before. Uh-oh. Is that getting closer? Oh yeah, there's... What is that, a merwoman? Or merfolk? What is that? A lamia. Okay. Holy shit. So I guess Lamia are, are water creatures in this game. You know, that's actually the first Lamia I've ever encountered in any playthrough. Oh, here's... Uh, it is behind a bookshelf. I don't know how to move that. Is there like a lever somewhere? Maybe on a wall somewhere? Nope. Teleporter behind a bookshelf. I gotta remember that. Another big room. Not one I'm liking. Tell you what, let's uh, explore this branch later. I'm hearing more Lamia, I guess. Man, this place is substantially larger than I thought it would be. This wall is not perfectly vertical, but it's not sloped enough where I can actually climb it. God damn. See, every other wall that's sloped like this I can climb. This one I can't. For some ungodly reason. Well, I guess let's hop down this thing and, and see if it's worth doing. <laughs> Fuck, no, it's not worth doing. There's nothing but water in there. Hope I don't have to go down there. My sword is now slightly used from bashing down all those doors. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get it repaired. I never did pick up the last sword I left to get repaired. It's probably just sitting in a shop somewhere.
Dude's probably sold it as collateral already. I don't know if they do that in the game, but that's what I would do if I was a smith and nobody showed up for like 100 days. Is this that wall I was looking at earlier? I don't think so. Holy crap. This place is confusing. I need to rest soon. Well, my pickpocket skill did go up eventually. I got woken up by a rat. Holy shit, I think I just died. Nope, managed to pull it out. Damn, this guy almost owned me. Oh, come on. Do I gotta face him dead on? Yeah. I knocked him out of my arc. Oh, vampire. At least all the vampires have been, uh... Pretty straightforward so far. Oh, fuck, it's a lever puzzle. I hate these things. Is that a ghost or a wraith? That's a ghost. Thank God he didn't paralyze me. I gotta assume this has something to do with that lever puzzle. And in a normal game, the assumption would be if the lever puzzle is in here, you have to do it. But this is Daggerfall, so I don't even know if I have to necessarily do that lever puzzle. Let's hit one just for shits and giggles. Weirdest lever ever. See how it went to the side? Holy crap! I made a mistake. That was a vampire ancient. Yeah, fuck that lever puzzle. I don't even know if I need to do it. Alright. Oh, god damn it. There's a ghost. I was waiting for my paralysis to tick down. Oh, shit. It's killing me. It's actively killing me. Let's get a second regeneration up. Oh, no. And I... Th I put my potion of true heal away. Oh no! Do I have any uh, Baleness Bomb? Do I have enough of that? A couple times. That's it. I'm gonna get killed by a ghost! No! Okay, good. My stuff's wearing off. No, I'm immediately paralyzed again. But this time, he filled up my did did me a did me a solid and filled up my uh, my spell points. And this is why I hate ghosts. Got it this time. All right, and because I couldn't help but read the one line that shows this uh, particular place, I know the solution. That is a weird lever. Now that having been said, I did hit the right lever this last time. I just I was supposed to hit two of them. And I went down the wrong, uh, the wrong corridor. This is the one I, went, I want. That is apparently the Dereni banner, so... Maybe that was the right place. No vampires this time? just in case. Yeah, I think the Vampire Ancients are hidden behind those doors. Oh, fuck! A Lich! <laughs> I think he blew himself up! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yeah, liches do blow themselves up sometimes. 
In fact, a lot of times. God, that was funny. All right, now I just gotta wait for my stuff to re to uh, wear off. I absorbed the spell that killed him. I just realized my pop filter wasn't in place. I hope, I uh, hope nobody noticed. I don't even know if I need it. I mean, it's like way over there. Damn, that is a long-lasting paralysis. I should have brought my book. I should have uh, kept my book by my side. Wonder if I can grab it before my par the paralysis wears off. All right, paralysis wore off. And there's who I'm looking for. Let's approach her really nice like. Oh, she's not an old hag. She's a relatively attractive, uh, bit of a strong jawline, but uh, yeah. Medora, the Queen Dowager. Let's talk to her. Greetings, RPG. I am Medora Dereni, former sorceress to the court of Daggerfall. She's not the Queen Dowager. Dowager, she's a sorceress. I have an interest in helping you in your aim to exercise the spirit of a king Lysandus, but I can do little in my present circumstances. If you would pay a visit to a certain other sorceress, I can lift the curse on Dereni Tower. Will you do this for me, RPG? Yes, I will. I will be in your debt, RPG. Nefalga, the mother of my, for of my former Lord Lysandus, is a renowned mystic, but I have heard whispers that the loss of her son has turned her mad with grief. If this is not true, she can and will help me. I need a certain rare item, the horn of a great unicorn, to break the curse on Dereni Tower. If Nefalga is indeed mad, you must search her castle for this horn yourself and bring it back to me. I will expect you back in 118 days. So she's actually the sorceress I heard about. Nefalga is the Queen Dowager. Okay, so I will go to the Queen Dowager. But first, I'm going to check back in uh, the court of... Daggerfall proper um, before I come back here. Because... Oh, no, I don't want to exit the game. Okay. Because, uh, basically, uh, I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. That, and I want to uh, hit the bank and, and, and deposit the mountains of gold I seem to be carrying around for absolutely no reason. I want to make Daggerfall my main bank and just keep all my shit here. So what I've got is, um, you know, I've done some quests for the courts of Daggerfall. And I realize that Queen Abuki should have Hammerfell Faction too. So I'm gonna hope that she can give me a lead on Lysandus on Lysandus's letter or something like that. So we'll talk to her. Uh, there is Queen Abukai. Ah, she does have a quest. My husband's poor grandmother, Nefalga, is rumored to be in very frail health. Her once brilliant mind almost utterly destroyed. She has locked herself in her castle in the Rothgarian Mountains and experiments in magical studies with no regard for her own safety. I would know of her condition, but few possess the bravery to face the horrors of her castles and speak with her. My reward for a report on her health is a short sword. Will you be my champion in this? Yes. By the beard of Thorig, I am glad to have found a champion. The name of her castle is Shedungent and it should not take you longer than 150 days to go there. If she is insane, Shedungent may be a very dangerous place indeed. Be careful. May Kinnereth and Mara protect you. So I have two quests to go to in Castle Shedungent. I've got to seek out Nefalga, and I've got to get a unicorn horn from her. And, um, yeah, that'll be that. Get two done in one shot. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sell my shit and put my stuff in the bank and clear my inventory. But I can do that between sessions. For now, this has been the RPG Crawler with The Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more playthroughs of this game and others. For now, this has been the RPG Crawler. Take care and goodbye.